Hey guys, just wanted to um, make this short video about um, using Node Red as an MBUS converter uh, to Modbus. So, what we did today was um, so basically, I've got an array of uh, MBUS devices in the field, and they're all these um, Cybel MBUS heads. We use it for water metering. Um, so, to bring that into some kind of um, energy management system that we use, uh, Optigy, um, we've got to first get that MBUS into Modbus. Um, and this solution wasn't really around all too long. Um, it's a fairly new solution. Um, but someone named Robert Lando has written this uh, MBUS um, basically communicator in Node Red, and it's fairly easy to put together. So I'll just run how we achieve that today. Um, the wiring's fairly simple, so on my test bench, I've just got one of these gateways. Um, and it's wired directly just to one M bus meter, just like this here. So plus minus to the first M bus meter. Um, and once the wiring's done, um, you can go ahead and set up your Node Red. I like to run Ubuntu server and um, have Node Red running like a service. Um, from there what you do is you will come to your manage palettes, um, click on the install and then look for MBUS. Now this is a wireless MBUS um, but the one that I installed was this um, just the standard MBUS um, and then all the documentation is over on this other page. Um, this MBUS out um, node that he's written is um, pretty much the only node that I've had to use. Um, everything else, it sort of does everything that you need it to do, basically. Um, that's this node here. So if we take a look at it, Um, I've just put in, filled out the client information, which is my, is my gateway. Okay. So I've got the IP address of the gateway and then the TCP port um, that it serves on, and we can double check that configuration by logging into it. If I can remember the password. Okay. So on the MBUS side, you've got to match the board rate to the default board rate on your Cybels, 2400. Um, give it a timeout. And then from there, You just need to make sure you know what which port this is. I think um, the default was like ten thousand on Node Red, so and default here is sixty twenty one. So I just updated that, make sure that all that was running. Um, so I'll show you what sort of happens. This is just a standard standard debug node. So you deploy it 
after you've filled out that information. Like I said, it's really bare bones. Um, and it will start to scan. And it will find the device using its secondary address. And then every so often it will start to um, draw the information from the MBUS device. So your, your slave ID, what product is it, um, and then you've got all your data, your data array. Um, the one that we're really interested in is the volumetric of water that passes through the water meter. That the MBUS head is attached to, which is this value, and it is in liters. So um, you can normally it brings up the scale. It hasn't really brought the scale through. But I do know it is in liters. Maybe that's what he meant by M meters cubed is milli meters cubed. Anyway, so it'll just uh, it'll keep producing these packets, reading it every about 30 seconds or so. Um, and from there, like I said, my my EMS doesn't take MBUS, it'll only take Modbus. So I've also in Node Red, installed the MBUS, sorry, Modbus, Modbus MBUS, the main Modbus package. Right. And I just use the, um, the Flex Server node and the Flex Write nodes to create sort of a virtual device so that the Node Red has a place to store Modbus registers. Um, and this is the function that I put in to take that value here and divide it by a thousand to get the cubic meters and then convert that into a pair of integers so that it would slot into two Modbus registers. Um, so what am I doing in this code? I'm finding out the ID from this device which is here so I'm saying my ID is equal to this value here and I'm saying if my ID is equal to this then my float is equal to the data record for value divided by a thousand to get the meters cubed and I found this function um, online and it just works to do what I said before, which is um, convert that value. It's going to be like 3.563 into two integer values. And then I write that to a Modbus device. So write multiple registers, function code 16, the unit ID of the Modbus. The Modbus ID basically is 1. The register address is 1 and the quantity is 2. Um, but if it's, say, a different device, say it picked up 2 on there, then it wouldn't do anything. So this part only occurs if, um, if I'm looking at the correct device. Okay. And then you pass that um, object through to your 
modbus write value and that will store it locally on wherever you have your uh, your node red installed okay jumping over to octogy now so I can go to building management and modbus devices I can add the new device which is going to be the node red device pick the port which I made 11502 don't try and uh, make it 502 node red in node red you cannot assign TCP ports under 1024 okay so make it whatever you want but just not in that range and now I can check the connection statuses okay it's online on that port now I can do a modbus read on that device the unit is one, the register is one, and I have two registers to read. Execute, and that's the value there. 3.53. So that looks like it's all set up and configured correctly now. Okay, let me know any questions. Thanks a lot.